What happens if a plaintiff can prove contract breach but can't sufficiently quantify damages suffered? Bosch and Lom v. Bressler addresses that question. Sonamed Technology produced and sold devices used to diagnose eye diseases. In 1984, Sonamed entered a contract with Bosch and Lom, which gave Bosch and Lom the exclusive right to distribute Sonamed's devices in certain regions for five years. In exchange for this right, Bosch and Lom paid Sonamed $500,000 and agreed to purchase a certain amount of devices from Sonamed each year. If Sonamed didn't timely fulfill the purchase orders, Bosch and Lom had license to self-manufacture the devices. The contract also provided that if a material breach occurred, the non-breaching party could terminate the contract after giving the breaching party a 30-day notice to rectify the breach. In mid-1987, Sonamed didn't fulfill several purchase orders on time. Meanwhile, Bosch and Lom struggled to sell its existing stock and slashed prices by 40%. In October, Bosch and Lom informed Sonamed that it would stop further purchase orders and self-manufacture the devices. On November 3rd, Sonamed demanded Bosch and Lom resume purchase orders by November 6. Bosch and Lom responded in agreement on November 17, but Sonamed refused to accept that assurance and terminated the contract. On November 30th, Bosch and Lom sued Sonamed and its executives, including Bernard Bressler, for contract breach. During discovery, Bosch and Lom learned that Sonamed had violated the agreement by selling its devices in Bosch and Lom's exclusive territory for the last 18 months. The district court found Sonamed liable and awarded Bosch and Lom over $500,000 in damages, part of which included Bosch and Lom's payment for exclusive distribution rights. Sonamed challenged the damages on appeal to the Second Circuit.